Okay, this sermon's entitled, The Sounds of Hell. What, what's it going to sound like in hell when a person just goes their entire life rejecting the gospel, saying no to the free gift of eternal life, not believing on Jesus? Let me open with prayer and then with a few verses. Sergeant. God, thank you for allowing me to uh, preach this sermon and to explain to people that they need to get saved and what hell's going to be like in terms of the, uh, the aud- you know, the audibleness or whatever. Keep us, keep us safe and keep us real. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, just I'm, I'm going to take out the flames, take out the outer darkness, take out the weeping and gnashing of teeth, take out the, the worm that, that dieth not, take out the fact that you're just in utter torment. But now, just picture a person burning in hell, listening to all the times that they rejected the gospel and all the times they heard the plan of salvation and just said no to it. Here it goes. Let me go ahead and pause it. Then I'm going to give you an echo, you know, sermon. It's part of the, it's the echo portion of the sermon. Here goes. All right, you need to get saved. All right, you need to get saved. You need to get saved. You need to get saved. You, get saved. you, get saved. you must be born you again. You must be born again. You must be born again. You must be born again. Believe in Jesus and you go to hell. Believe in Jesus. Don't believe in Jesus and you go to hell. Believe in Jesus and you go to hell. Who sort of believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God loves you. Jesus died for you. He was buried and rose again. He said, have all your sins washed away. You need to get saved. You need to get saved. You need to stop rejecting it. You need to stop rejecting it. You keep rejecting it. I don't know why you're rejecting it. I don't know why you're rejecting it. You just keep rejecting it. You just keep rejecting it. You just keep saying no. You just keep saying no. You just keep saying no. You're going to burn in hell forever. 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 You're going to burn in my point is, I believe hell is going to be a lot like that. Every time a person rejected the soul winner knocked his door, and, 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 you know, can I just show you, give you a little track, and I'm going to invite you to my church, and you're a sinner, and you need to get, you need to, you need to believe on Christ for eternal life, John 6, 47, he that believeth on, excuse me, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. And, but you just kept saying, no, I don't believe in all that stuff, that's a bunch of religious, you know, fundamental junk, I don't want to, no, it's the truth, though. The Bible is, is, is God's word, and it's the truth, and that's what I believe hell is going to be like. It's going to be a billion times worse, and we're going to, people are going to have a full core memory of every time they rejected the simple gospel, and they refused to believe on Christ for the free gift of eternal life. You know, that's, all, that's all I have. I'm closing prayer. Um, dear God, thank you for allowing me to um, explain this and to preach this sermon that makes it very clear that there is, a, there is a God, you are real, and there is salvation, and salvation is found in, in Jesus Christ and Him alone. And it's just simply believing on Him for the free gift of eternal life. Those that say no to that, say, I don't believe it, they're going to go to hell when they die. That's all, that's, that's all I have. Keep us safe, keep us real. Allow us not to be the rejectors. Allow us to, be, if we are saved, to just keep on telling others the good news. And I ask all, keep us safe, in Jesus' name I pray, amen.